The new stars is Alpha 3.23 patch hit EPTU for Evo Cardi not too long ago and we're going straight into the patch notes. For this one the testing focus is stability, full character customizer revamp, movie glass rework, star map, interior maps and mini maps, EVA tier 2, new loop screens, new visor and lens, full FPS combat refactor, backpack reloading, dynamic crosshair, physical shop UI and server crash recovery. Features that are not yet ready for testing and feedback is master modes, PIE and PIS and default item actions, freight elevators, hauling missions, reputation based hostility and more. There's a few known issues on this one, not going to go through them in this video. For features and gameplay under the location category, they have an overhaul done on water. So it says with Star System Alpha 3.23, we have overhauled the water rendering and simulation engine. This affects all water in the verse, so oceans, rivers, lakes, water volumes and landing zones and stations, water on ships like the 890 jump, water interaction with scaled based on width of the ship. Under the AI category, they have a full AI ship combat balance pass. With this update, you should notice a difficulty increase in all AI piloted ships with multipliers being adjusted. Under the gameplay category is Moby Glass Rework. It says reworking the Moby Glass system to use building blocks, which will also allow for easier development in Moby Glass apps. This update includes complete rework overhaul UI along with reworked home star map contract manager mode trader knickknacks journals and more star map rework implementing the new and improved star map with improved visuals and usability including the easier search and trip planning functionality this is a big one this is a big one that the star citizen community is looking forward to cannot wait to see this in the game FPS map system it says implementing a mini map for the HUD as well as interior map for FPS gameplay, helping players stay oriented in close quarter encounters. Next is vehicle targeting key bind updates. It says with 323, we're moving slightly towards Squadron 42 scheme of targeting. This comes with a few key bind changes. So now, so now I'm gonna have the link to the actual Spectrum um, post for this, this way you can just go through them yourselves uh, so you can see the new key bind changes as well, okay? Next, they made further physical shop UI and UX improvements. And a big update in this one is going to be the FPS combat overhaul. It says due to the massive changes with FPS weapon balances and updates, it will have its own devoted section for this release. So there's a lot of changes in this one, okay? So under new scopes and sights, it says scopes and sights will no longer have blinding reflections on them. Optics now increase aim down sight times, 15% for one time to three times and 20% for four times. However, eight times and above remain the same due to being a sniper exclusive with already long aim down sight times. Scopes that are eight times or above have a glint visual to players when a scope is targeting them. Optic zoom have returned to multiple scopes. Armors will no longer block the player's vision when aiming down sights. So that's a huge one. That's that's I man. Um, there's so much ar so much um, different armors that I well, I avoid because of this issue. So this is good. They also made some updates to um, FPS control keybinds. Um, you guys will have the link to go through and check them out yourself here. It says underbarrel lasers pointers now decrease spread by 15%. Nice, 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 nice. That's good to know. They also made some changes to FPS combat. It says the overall intention for many combat updates in 3.23 is that player is slowed down in firefights when committing to a fight, but it is still safe to retreat during a fight. So it says adjustments have been made to make the overall experience more consistent. Weapons should no longer get stuck in the falling pose. Force reaction has been adjusted so that FPS weapons will 
not cause stagger on any weapons when moving diagonally players will now use strafing movement values body mapping adjust to shoulder shot will no longer count as headshot equipment will no longer block bullets such as backpacks or weapons nice weapons will no longer damage multiple body parts on a single player meaning if a shot went through the player's arms or chest it would damage the same target twice it will still damage two different players as expected interesting naked damage multiplier on the player has been reduced by 50 percent attachment will work with the new procedural recoil majority of weapons now feature the new iron sights new procedural aim down sight animation on all weapons nice spreads has been fully removed from all abs some weapons still had it when they shouldn't and various issues causing hit reg issues have been fixed very very nice okay so they also done some balance changes to weapons specifically so if there is a specific weapon you're interested in finding out you'll find a link uh, in the description of this video so that you could see the changes for that because it's a long list so let's get straight into the bug fixes with this one it says player flashlight is not functioning has been fixed they fixed an issue where when you choose Vulcan under the graphics section as a graphics renderer and relaunch the game will cause the game to either be in a static black screen or crash they also fix an issue where ASAP Terminals is unable to access list of available vehicles and ships. They also fix an issue where ships are missing the name and hangar number marker when spawned. They fix an issue where highlighting a selected feature from the top two library heads is inconsistent. They fix an issue where the player is sometimes unable to interact with weapon when dropping in EVA. They fixed an issue where the share button is not available in the contracts for all shareable missions. They fixed an issue where helmet slots is missing from the player's loot UI. They fixed an issue where attempts to equip items from inventory into loot UI slots can result in states where the target item goes missing. They fixed an issue where the active salvage mode send do not persist when the ship is stored and retrieved causing issues they fixed an issue where the placeholder cap does not reappear after unequipping a turret and they also fixed an issue where magazines stick into the left hand while backpack reloading along with this is five client crashes four server crashes just to let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video